Paul by Roger Hardy. It was a warm, sunny morning in his small in his small house at the other side of the wood, and the city call was asleep. Tickles are small and round, and they have arms that stretch and stretch and stretch. Extraordinary long arms. Mr. Tickle was fast asleep. <coughs> he was having a dream. It must be. Ha- it must have been a very funny dream because it and made him laugh out loud and and that woke him up. (laughs) He sat up in bed, stretched his extraordinary long arms, and yawned an enormous yawn. Mr. Tickle felt hungry, so do you know what he did? He reached one, one of his extraordinary long arms, opened the bedroom door, reached down the stairs, opened the, opened the kitchen door, reached into the kitchen cupboard, opened the bis- biscuit tin, took up a whole biscuit, Brought it back upstairs in brought it back upstairs into the bed bedroom door and back to Mr Tickle in bed. As you can see, it is very useful indeed having arms as arms as long as Mr Tickle. Mr Tickle munched his biscuit. He looked out of the window. Today looks very much like a tickling day, he thought. He thought to himself. So later that morning, after that, after Mr. Tickle had made his bed and cooked his breakfast, he set off to the wood. And he walked along. He kept his eyes as very open, very, very wide open, looking for somebody to tickle, looking for anybody to tickle. Eventually, Mr. Cole came to a school. There was nobody out, so, uh, so, reading his, up his extraordinary long arm, to a high window ledge, Mr. Tickle pulled himself up and peeped through the open window. Inside he could see a classroom. There were children sitting at their desks and teacher writing on the blackboard. Mr. Tickle waited a minute and then reached in through the window. Mr. Tickle said, stolen her long arms, went right up to the teacher, paused, and then tickled. The teacher jumped in the air and turned around very quickly to see him there, but there's nobody there. Mr. Tickle grinned a mischievous grin. He waited another minute and then tickled the teacher again, this time. He kept on tickling and doing until soon the teacher was laughing out loud and saying, Stop it! Stop it! Over and over again. All the children were laughing too at such a funny sight. There was terrible pandemonium. I don't know what that word is, sorry. That's a good one. Eventually, Mr. Tickle 
thought that he had enough fun. So we're going to do the one more tickle for luck and then very slowly walked along back through the window. Chuckling, chuckling to himself, he jumped down from the window, leaving the poor teacher to explain what it was all about. Which of course he couldn't. Then Mr. Tickle went to town. And that, and what did they use to tickle at? He tickled the policeman off, traffic to Jack Crossroads in the middle of town. It, was, it caused an enormous traffic jam. Tickle the green grocer just as he was peeling apples, peeling apples neatly in the shop window. The green grocer fell backwards and the apples rolled all over the shop. And at the railway station, the guard was about to wave the flag to the trendy. As he was to do something in the air, Mr. Tickle tickled him. And, and every time he tried to wave the flag, Mr. Tickle tickled him. Until the train was 10 minutes late, leaving the station, and all, pass all the passengers were furious. That day, Mr. Tickle tickled everybody. He tickled the doctor, he tickled the butcher. He even tickled old Mr. Stamp the passman as he dropped his, his letters in the paddle. Then Mr. Tickle went home, sitting in the small house at the other side of the wood. He laughed and laughed, and every time he saw about all the people he had tickled. So if so if you are in the way ridiculous, beware of Mr. Tickles and there's a dozen long arms of him. Just think, perhaps he's somewhere about at his, this very moment while you were reading this book. Perhaps that extraordinary long arms of all the other creeps up to the of his room. Perhaps it's opening the door right now and coming into the room. Perhaps before you know what is happening you will be well and truly tickled. So, time for a little song.
if you want to clash. Anyway, you don't want to be gay, gay.